and welcome again to the Grove Swimming Pool in Belfast for the very spectacular sport of water polo. It's the Irish Senior Cup, and tonight we bring you highlights of the men's final as Cahill Brewer of Belfast face Mayan of Dublin in what is a repeat of last year's final. In the semi-finals last week, defending champions Cahill Brewer of Belfast beat Penguin of Dublin 10-7 in what was a great tussle. And in the old Dublin tie, Marion beat Sandy Cove 9-8 in a real thriller, the winning goal coming there in the dying seconds. So it's a North v South final. But for the moment, it's the ladies who capture the spotlight as we feature their final CRC against Sandy Cove, an old Dublin affair. CRC captain is Fiona Byrne, who's also an Irish international. Fiona, first of all, uh, first time in the final for you, 12-6 win in the semi-final. Were you pleased with that? Yeah, we were very pleased. We weren't really expecting it because we only have the seven players, but, well, we were very pleased with the result. And overall, I believe it's been a good season for you. Yeah, well, we, only a couple of weeks ago, we um, beat Glen Alban in the playoff for the league, and, well, we were very pleased with that because, well, again, we only had the team to go for it, and it was... A bit of a shock even to win it. And a word about your opponents this time, Sandy Cove. Sandy Cove, well, we haven't seen them here playing in this tournament so far, but I believe they're playing well and it's going to be tough anyway. Fiona, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you. So we're just about ready for that, ladies. Final, all Dublin affair, as I said, CRC against Sandy Cove. And once again, the man picking up commentary is Jim McLean. So with the scores tied at five each after four, per four quarters of play, we're into extra time, and it's CRC through Fiona Byrne picking up possession. CRC wearing white, Sandy Cove also of Dublin wearing blue. And it's a long pass to Fiona Byrne, but it goes astray. And Fiona fouls number four for Sandy Cove, who wins a free. And Sandy Cove roaring that they have a free ex free player up. Mer Miriam Hopkins, number three, but Ema Byrne has caught her. And tackles. She gets a shot in or pass in. Mary Guide, number 10, awarded a free. But a reverse uh, a reversal awarded against Blue 5, and it's now possession in the hands of CRC. Fiona Byrne to her sister Martina. Martina Byrne, number three for CRC, being closely policed by Eddie McConnell, but managed to get the pass in and a shot from Fiona, straight to the goalie, Brenda McGrory. Two periods of two and a half minutes actual play to decide who's going to be the winners of the 1983 final. Is it Sandy Cove who now have a, fr a free player in front of goals, shot, and a fine save from Susan Dunn. But still Sandy Cove on the attack. Mary Guyton, number 10, being fouled. Miriam Hopkins, number three, with a shot, and straight to goalkeeper Dunn. Passes it out of Fiona Byrne. Feeds it to her sister Martina, number three. The fact that CRC don't have any substitutes beginning really to tell as they tire and fail to get back. There's Ashley O'Leary being very, very closely policed, but managed to get the pass back to Liz Cosgrave, who passes it back to her goalie, Brenda McGorry. Just over 35 seconds remaining in this first period of extra time. 35 seconds of playing time. And a free award at six meters out. A shot on here. Mary Guyton and a score. Right into the bottom left-hand corner of the net by number 10. Mary Guyton puts the Sandy Cove ladies team. Six goals to five in the lead in our first period of extra time. So Colin O'Brien. Restart the game, the second period of extra time for the O'Brien Cup to decide who wins the 1983 Irish Senior Ladies Water Polo Tournament. The score, Sandy Cove wearing blue, six goals. CRC wearing five, five, and a CRC in possession. Their captain, Fiona Byrne, number 10. Being policed by number seven, Aisling O'Leary. Fouled by Aisling, wins a free. 
Martina Byrne shoots and scores. Martina Byrne, number three. One of the three Byrne sisters on the CRC side equalizes with a fine goal. With one and a half minutes, just under one and a half actual play room remaining. It's Miriam Hopkins and Queen O'Leary breaking in number five for Sandy Cove. A big girl, would she get the shot in? It does, and it's saved by Susan Dunn. But Miriam Hopkins picks it up and puts it in the back of the net. Number three, Miriam Hopkins, plays for Ireland. Wearing a green cap underneath that blue one. Scoring her team's seventh goal. It looks likely now that Sandy Cove will be taking the O'Brien Cup back to Dublin tonight as 1983 champions. And it's Queen O'Leary, number five. Queen fouled. To her sister, Ashley, number seven. Goal in front of her, push shot, and another fine goal, and that must clinch it. That must surely clinch it with four seconds left in the clock. Ashley O'Leary, number seven, Irish water polo player, Irish swimming champion, and now looking to be a holder of one of the medals for this 1983 Irish Senior Ladies Water Polo Cup. So, after extra time, the cup goes to Sandy Cove, and what a good final it was.